Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial campaign in Realistic Progression Zero, the campaign mod for the Realism Overhaul Suite of Realism Mods in Kerbal Space Program. Uh, I'm now back and uh, we're first going to go ahead and take a quick visit to our uh, Venus probes and then we'll be mostly back home around Earth. Uh, so let's go to Sparrow 2 bus. Now you'll note that um, the orbits are now quite low. Um, we've successfully aerobraked slash poked them down to the orbits they should be in. Uh, so they're happily going along and scanning and ah, we happen to be... I don't think we've got that biome. That's cool. Let's go ahead and get some science. Uh, and because I didn't bind that to the action group. Alright, let's do that. Now, let's go ahead and take a peek at ScanSat. Where's the big map? Uh, big map. There we go. Okay, now you'll note that this is quite a patchwork, uh, and that's because up until we finished our error breaking, um, we were only able to do stuff at periapsis. So let's look at our. Where's the nice equator? So, yeah. That's spread out quite annoyingly. Uh, happily, we have oodles of delta v to try to correct that. Um, not actually sure. I, I'm not a scansat expert, so I don't offhand recall the best way to correct this sort of problem. Um, let's see. This comes all the way down over here, all the way up here. All right, so we're getting only on the next bunch of orbits, which, so we're not... Yes, so Venus is spinning very slowly, which means that's not going to advance very much. Uh, but we can't, I don't think, do much about that, so we're just going to say the heck with it and let it hang around for a while. But we are going to see if we pick up any other interesting biomes, meanwhile. Uh, that we haven't gotten yet. Um, Planum. Now we're back over lowlands, midlands, all that fun stuff. Pretty sure we've gotten that. Yes, we have. Pretty sure we've gotten this too. Yep. Oh, let's. Yes, good. That's reset. Um. All right. I really need one of those mods that kicks me out of warp once we change biomes, but I ain't got it, so I have to kind of do it by hand. Space just above Venus's midlands. Slowly we are getting drawn into the dark side of the Venus. Yeah, this is just swapping between lowlands and midlands. With occasional little tiny bits of mountain. So, onwards we go. Oh, that was Highlands. Well...
Oh, we've already got everything from the Highlands anyway. Now we're back in the Midlands. Now we're back in the Highlands. Analyze telemetry. Yeah, we already got that. Alright. So while we're waiting for... Oh, canyons! I don't think we've gotten that yet. Uh, look, I'm wrong. We have. Uh, while we're waiting for an interesting biome to occur for us, um, thanks to uh, viewer comments in the stream and on the YouTube video export, looks like we're going with the VA capsule. Uh, now, the advantage of the VA capsule is that it is lighter, um, it's cheaper, it draws less electricity, although I think there's a bug in how much less electricity it draws. It really shouldn't draw as little as we currently model it as drawing, I think. Uh, and I think I pushed a patch to that, but it looks like that didn't quite work. Um, so I'm going to assume it draws something like 1750 watts rather than the 225, it says, because the Mark 1 2 pod model on Apollo draws 1900 watts. Um, and 225 watts is like half of what Mercury draws, and that just can't be right. Um, so, at any rate, the advantage is it's, right, it's smaller, it's cheaper, it draws less electricity, it's lighter. Uh, all these things are good. The downside is